Hey, what's going on there, guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and welcome to my top five cards from Magic Origins. Now, Magic Origins is really sweet because it's actually the last core set that we have as far as expansions go for Magic the Gathering. From here, they're restructuring the way the standard format for competitive play works, and also how many sets are actually going to be released in each block, where we had three sets per block before, now we only have two sets per block. But that is a subject for another day. Today, we are taking a look at my top five for Magic Origins. So coming in at number five, we have Exquisite Firecraft. Now this card is seeing a whole lot of play right now. In standard, it's seeing play in red aggro variants. It's even seeing play in green red dragon decks. And in modern, it's actually even good enough to see modern play in burn. So it's for three mana, it deals four damage to target creature or player, and with spell mastery, it can't be countered by spells or abilities. So especially whenever you're playing in modern, where you have to worry about counter spells a whole lot more, if you've already been playing your spells in previous turns with spell mastery, you can sleep safe at night knowing that for your three mana, you're going to deal that four damage. Coming in at number four, we have Abbot of Carol Keep. So yes, it's another red card, but this one is also relatively awesome. So in standard, it's seeing play in red deck wins and just guy aggro variants, as well as some other stuff on the fringe end. And in Modern, it's actually even seen play in Jund, just because it's an efficient card that lets you play off the top of your library. So, if it wasn't really awesome that this guy had Prowess and was a 2-1 for 2 mana, whenever he enters, he also allows you to exile the top card of your library, allowing you, for that turn, to be able to play it. So, if you haven't played a land drop for your turn, you get to do so off the top of your library if you exile a land. And otherwise, it just lets you dig a little bit deeper into the other cards that you actually want to see. Maybe it's really, really late game, and you have a bunch of mana to be able to mess around with. The Abbot of Carol Keep basically gives you one more free card if you're in the mid to late game. Coming in at number three, we have Hanger Backwalker. So this was a card that I initially kind of overlooked and I was like, nah, this card's probably not that good. But Hanger Backwalker has actually proven to be good in pretty much just every format. In standard, it's seeing play in Abzan Aggro and Blue Red Artifact decks. Modern, it's seeing play in some Affinity decks. In Vintage, it's actually seeing play in Workshop decks. And even in Legacy, some MUD players like to play it out of the sideboard as well. Uh, Hangerback Walker is just awesome because it's super efficient for being able to sink any amount of mana into it. You can make it bigger each turn by tapping it and paying one mana. And whenever it dies, you get some value off of it. You get to make some 1-1s. One -ones. In our number two spot, we have Nissa Vastwood Seer. So this is actually one of my more personal favorites that actually just doesn't tie into other formats other than standard. Nissa Vastwood Seer has proven to be very, very good in standard and Abzan variants and even in some like devotion decks as well. But the fact that whenever it enters the battlefield, it allows you to search for a forest and just kind of assure yourself you're not missing land drops. And also, whenever you're into like the mid to late game, you hit your seventh land drop, it comes into the battlefield, it's going to transform. So the Nissa is going to transform into her other side where she is a three loyalty planeswalker that can essentially allow you to draw extra cards with the plus one or hit extra land drops. With the minus two, you get to make a 4-4 legendary creature. And with a minus seven, you basically just get to win the game. You, you get to make six of your lands into six sixes, and they just get to beat your opponent's face down. And my number one favorite card out of Magic Origins, definitely Jace Vern's Prodigy. So this card is so great. It's seeing play in standard in control variants, blue-white decks, and even in tempo decks like Jeskai as well. And even in modern, it's seeing play in control decks as well. This card is just so well-rounded and great. Uh, first and foremost, it's a looter. So it allows you to draw a card and then discard a card. But if there are five or more cards in your graveyard, you get to exile them and then bring them back as just a efficient two mana planeswalker. So with the plus one, you get to make one of your opponent's creatures or no creature at all uh, have minus two minus zero until your next turn. With the minus three, you essentially get to snapcaster mage one of your instants or sorceries from your grave and play it back again. And with the minus nine, every time you cast a spell, you get to mill your opponent a little bit. So uh, if there's anything that I really like about uh, wizard sprinting jaces, it's that they are powerful and efficient in what they're actually allowing you to do. And eh, it's not always bad to have a little bit of mill in there as well. So that is my personal top five for Magic Origins. Let me know down in the comments below what your top five is. If you had to rank the cards that you've played with or that you hope to play with from Magic Origins, what would you say is your top five? Leave it down in the comments below. 
Also, thank you guys for watching the video and joining me for this top five video. If you guys enjoyed it and would like to see more, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering content. You can follow Absolute MTG on Facebook, facebook.com slash Absolute MTG, and on Twitter at the Absolute MTG for more Magic the Gathering news. And if you guys want to personally help out more with the channel, you can check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash Absolute MTG. Again, thank you guys for joining me, and until next time, peace out.